What is going on guys, Joe here, back with another video, and today we'll be checking out an unexpected beta release, Beta 5, that was pushed out this week for iOS 10. This only means we're getting closer and closer to the final version of iOS 10, which we can all expect when the latest iPhone is released in September. Now, iOS 10 Beta 5 does not have many new features added, pretty much just a few tweaks here and there, so let's go ahead and check those out. First, let's talk about the sounds. Now, there have been many changes throughout all the betas in iOS 10, and this is a new change. There is now a new lock sound when you go ahead and manually lock the device. So this new lock sound sort of sounds like a door shutting. Let me know in the comments what you think about this new lock sound. Now, continuing with the sounds, the keyboard sounds are now a little louder than previous beta. You still have the new keyboard clicks when you're tapping on letters or when you hit the delete button or the space button. So those are still there. They've just gotten a little louder now. Now next is going to be the new icon that they've added, which looks sort of like an AirPlay icon here on Control Center. So when you tap on that, this will give you a selection of where you want to play the audio that you're currently playing on your device. So instead of having the headphone icon, it now has an AirPlay-like icon with a little triangle at the bottom. And also the icons on the devices have changed as well. They used to be white icons and now they're black icons and it seems that they have been switching back and forth throughout all the betas. And next, we're going to talk about the today's view. So in today's view, the date and time was previously shown in iOS 10 beta 4. Only when you swipe down your notification center and then swiped over to the left and you would see the date right on the top. But now that is also shown when you swipe to the right on your home screen to activate today's view, which on beta 4, it wasn't shown. So you can actually see it either from pulling down your notification center and swiping over or if you're on your home screen, you can swipe over and now see the date without having to open up a calendar or something like that. And while we're talking about the today's view, you also have, of course, your widgets. And these widgets are now darker if it is a third party widget. So if it's a native widget like your weather, your phone favorites or your map, those will still have a transparent background. But now if it's a third party widget, they're going to be transparent and also have a darker shade. Now, when it comes to the settings app in your iPhone, they have now removed the home settings. So you won't be able to access your home settings directly through the settings application. But other than that, this is kind of what you should expect when the final version of iOS 10 is available. There might be one or two more betas released in the upcoming weeks, but we're very close to the final version of iOS 10. So do expect to get a smooth running iOS 10 version out in the next couple of weeks. Anyway, stay tuned to the channel if you want more coverage on iOS 10 and other tech related videos. But other than that, thanks a lot for watching. As always, if you did enjoy this video and you found it helpful, let me know by hitting that like button as it not only lets me know that you like the video, but it also supports the channel. Also, if you're not following me yet on social media like Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram, and Google+, all my links are down below in the description. That way you can stay up to date with what is going on and also some behind the scenes action. Lastly, if you feel like being awesome, be sure to hit that subscribe button. That way you'll be notified every time I come out with a new video. But like I said, do expect more iOS 10 coverage as it comes out, along with other tech videos, so do stay tuned to the channel. Other than that, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Really appreciate your support very much, but uh, I will catch you all on the next one. All right? Peace.